I'm up here in the mountains of California hunting butter bullets. I'm gonna show you how to find them. Let's go. All right, so I'm walking around. We have fir trees all over the place. I see a nice big shrimp. So there's a big one down here. Wow, look at that. And then we have one that's exposed over here. That's a pretty good looking one. And then out there, there's one that's real obvious. So it's a big honking, honking bolete. Wow, look at that butter bolete. Oh, whoa, this is such an impressive mushroom. You can see it's got a little bit of animal damage there. Super dusty on top, but underneath it has this beautiful red cap. Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful yellow pores. I'm gonna injure it and it's gonna stain blue pretty quickly. You can see it has all this gorgeous reticulation. It's kind of webbing on the stem. And I'm not worried about cutting these when I pick them because what I'm gonna do is trim the bottom off and leave that here in the soil. Uh, you can see that it's not really connected, you know, in terms of any mycorrhizae or anything on the bottom. Um, but I will trim it, leave it in the soil. And I'm going to take home this delicious edible mushroom. See, it's very quickly staining blue. Uh, but the flesh will sort of erratically stain blue. And this is just, just a gorgeous butter bullet. Wow. Sometimes when you're mushroom hunting, the animals will help lead you to mushrooms. But in this case, an animal got here first and really tore this up. Um, so this is one of the things that kind of cracks me up when people see me get upset about cutting up a mushroom. I'm like, I'm just doing what animals do to mushrooms in the woods, chopping them up and uh, helping them to disperse their spores. So other stuff will come along and eat this later, but I can look around and know that because there's been animal disturbance, there are mushrooms around and that will inform me that this is a good place to keep looking uh, to find more, more mushrooms. So all I gotta do is pay attention. Ooh, nice find. Is that just shrumped up a little bit? Yep. Cool. Ooh. Nice. That Looks is... like something took a bite out of it. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes it's the best way to find them is that an animal's been after it and just kind of nibbled the corner yeah. and helped you find it. I'm thinking there might be some more under here also. Yeah. Well, we'll take a look. There's probably more all over the place. Nope. Nope. Not there, but... There. But we'll keep looking around here. There could well be more. Wow, what an impressive butter bullet. Give it some taps, help knock off the dirt. A little brush here. Scrape out some of that dirt. I'll wash it off later, but I'm just trying to get as much dirt off now as possible. Wow. Same here with the stem. Try to avoid getting the pores dirty. Those beautiful, beautiful yellow pores that stain blue. See that staining already happening? Right. Okay. Trim this up carefully. Whoops. <laughs> Big old mushroom. Okay. There we go. You ready? Super, super crisp. Just like trimming a potato almost. A couple of little bug holes, but nothing too bad. Just gonna use our brush to clean this off. Yeah, like I said, I'll give this a wash and scrub later. But what a gorgeous, gorgeous butter blade. You know, I've got a little, little knot on by somebody, but that don't bother me. I'm just trimming off all when I get home. Such a gorgeous mushroom. These are so like meaty and delicious. See that nice little bit of reticulation there? God, these are so cool. Wow, look at those. Those are really pretty. Beautiful kimbolites. Holy cow. Ooh. That's gorgeous. Nice find. Twinsies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Twins. Does it look to you like there's another one right next to them? Could be. Possibly. This looks like a shark to me right here. 
And it is. It is. Wow. Look at that. Oh, there you go. That would be. All right. Grab it up. Yeah. Oh, and it's chunky. Oh, yeah. Nice find. Good stuff. Look at you guys. Mushroom finding machines here. Spring King, Boletus Rex Veris. Wow, look at those Boletus Rex Veris, the Spring King. Has white pores and reticulation. And eventually the pores turn yellow, but they don't stain blue like a butter bullet. Oh, those are pretty. Liz, let me see what you got. Ooh, damn! Look at that, that is a pretty little button. Beautiful King Lolite. It's got a nice little nibble taken out of it too. <laughs> Someone else got to it first, but I got to it last. Ooh. All right, put it in the basket.